From becoming an actual bus driver to a secret teaser for GTA 6, these are 50 insane details in Grand Theft Auto. This year, players logged into GTA Online's October update and discovered an Easter egg teasing the sixth game hiding in plain sight. Rockstar gave it a shirt with a ton of numbers on it, but one of them was repeated over and over, 12-5-23. If you haven't caught on by now, that's December 5th, the release date of GTA 6 trailer. And over in single player, you might remember playing the FIB mission. You sneak in dressed as janitors, but when you head to the elevator, you gotta pay Pay attention to these buttons. As you can see, it's missing a floor 13, and this is a real thing that architects do in elevators because 13 is an unlucky number. I highly recommend logging into Rockstar's social club though. You can view all of your GTA 5 stats, but more importantly, it shows you the craziest speeding ticket you've earned. This includes how fast you went and even in what car. And another insane detail is in GTA 4. If you decide to just provoke someone, they'll start attacking you, and nearby cops will come to your rescue and arrest the guy. Or in the classics like San Andreas and Vice City, make sure you steal a bus. If you drive around normally and pull up to the stops, people will actually get on and give you money. Back in GTA 5, look up every now and then because the power lines might just have a pair of shoes hanging over them. Now this is a real life detail where organized gangs actually use it to mark their territory and signal customers to buy. Not all the greatest secrets are in this game though. In 5, if you shoot a tire, it straight up pops, but in past games like GTA 4, they'll fully deflate before going flat and unusable. And one of the craziest details you never noticed involves CJ from San Andreas. If you have a low driving skill, he looks over the seat to reverse, but once you upgrade it, my man only needs the rear view mirror. And it gets even more hilarious in Vice City when you come across a roller skater. These NPCs for some reason decide they can just skate over the beach and let's just say wheels on the sand don't end too well. Now over in the modern games, ambulances don't really do anything besides drive in circles, but in San Andreas, there's some competent paramedics. Not only do they treat a patient on scene, there's also a chance they'll bring them back to life. But there's a detail that was secretly removed from GTA 5's Xbox 360 version. On launch, players noticed that the Lucky Plunker drive through had tiny images on the menu. And when they looked extremely close, it said Sprite, Coca-Cola, and Fanta. Yeah, they were using real brands in their game before replacing them with parodies like Sprung. One of my all-time favorite secrets is in Vice City, and it revolves around the Vice Squad. If you get a three-star wanted level, these guys will show up out of nowhere in undercover sports cars. If you're wondering why they're wearing these outfits, it's because each design is based on a character from the show Miami Vice. In fact, even their patrol car is based on Sonny's Ferrari. And while we're on the topic of cars, if you pour gasoline behind your exhaust pipe and then rev your engine, the backfire will actually ignite the fuel. But there's one hidden detail out there that Rockstar's only added a handful of times. In GTA 4, some cars have a working navigation, which literally reads out directions as you drive along. GTA 5 sunglasses are equally as impressive though. If you go into first person while wearing them, it actually affects your vision, and depending on the tint, the colors will change too. Rockstar's attention to detail is just insane, and it goes as far back as GTA 3. Anyone who walked up to NPCs like this could hear the music coming out of their headphones. Speaking of music, you might be sitting back and relaxing to a radio station in GTA 5, only to realize it's based in Blaine County. Well, if that's the case and you drive down to Los Santos, you'll lose the signal because it's too far away. And the same goes for your GPS. Whenever you're driving through a tunnel, the waypoint straight up disappears. Now, hopefully you don't get lost and drive into the ocean, because in Chinatown Wars, you have to physically break through the glass to get out of your car. I mean, this makes total sense if you're underwater, those doors do not open easily. And it's definitely not easy to rob the same store twice in GTA 5. The first time, super simple. They're not expecting you and you just walk in and hold up the place. But that's until you return for a second you heist. The shopkeeper no, remembers your out. face now and is prepared for a fight. And I know this seems really small, but the details on flip-flops is just extra special. If you play it back in slow motion, they actually flip and flop. I mean, who would even notice this? And if you're a fan of ones like that, you'll also appreciate the rats roaming the streets of Los Santos. There are groups of these guys everywhere just running around, and honestly, they're super detailed if you watch them. Kind of reminds me of the flies from GTA 4 that'll literally swarm any pile of garbage. Whatever you do, though, just make sure to keep them away from your beach ball. This random discovery in Vice City seems like a fun party trick, but it gets so much cooler. If you manage to kick it above your head, make sure to keep it in the air. This causes a secret counter to appear, and it tracks how long you keep it off the ground. If you have time to kill after that, go into GTA 5 and just stare at a puddle. Once the rain stops, it'll slowly evaporate until there's nothing left. But if it doesn't stop raining, cops in GTA 4 will actually put on a raincoat when patrolling the city. Just make sure they don't catch you racing. If you stop at a traffic light in Los Santos and start to rev your engine, the civilian next to you will be down to race. 
And if it happens to be a sunny day, don't stay out for too long because your character will overheat and their sweat literally starts to seep through their clothes. Can we maybe get Michael some Axe body spray or something? And I guess it is better to overheat in the sun than to die in it. Now, Vice City is full of sunshine, but you're playing GTA after all, so you're gonna be gunning down some NPCs. Well, in this game, once their bodies are gone, cops leave a chalk outline at the crime scene. And that's not the only time NPCs have impressed us. GTA 5's pedestrians will cross the street whenever the lights change. If they happen to go green while they're still on the road, cars will actually beep at them, forcing them to sprint to the sidewalk. Even for the pedestrians that own a car, if they're in Liberty City, there's a chance a cop will steal it. Whenever you blow up a police vehicle, instead of giving up, GTA 4's cops will take over a civilian's car and chase you with that instead. Bringing it back to Los Santos, there's a chance you'll find these fortune tellers around the city. It's just like those classic machines you'd find in real life, but one of them is called Madame Nazar. Seems like a cool character, right? Well, there's actually more to this than you might think. In Red Dead Online, which is set hundreds of years before GTA 5, you can find the real Madame Nazar selling items and clothing. If only the fortune tellers could save you from being stranded in the ocean. Some players might decide the only solution here is to call 911. Strange choice, but then the call goes through only for Nico to say this. I don't know where I am exactly. I'll call you when I can figure it out. Personally though, I just love when video games actually have working clocks, like in GTA 5, which not only shows the time on your phone, but it's perfectly synced up with the clocks around the map. This isn't new to the series either. GTA 3 had working clocks and businesses in the city that even closed their shutters depending on the time of day. Now, have you ever been driving around Los Santos only to get a call and suddenly driving feels way more difficult? Well, if you've had that feeling, you're not alone. The reason this happens is because your hand is taken up by the phone, so now you can't actually use the handbrake. The NPCs in San Andreas have their hands free though, in fact, they use them in an accurate way. Gang members will literally throw up signs in your presence, and for a PlayStation 2 game, this is pretty awesome. And Rockstar took it even further in the next generation of consoles, allowing them to add a realistic wind to GTA 4. If you compare a place in normal conditions to the same area on a windy day, you can literally see it affect the world. Whether it's smoke, trees, or traffic lights swinging from poles, it doesn't sound impressive until you're staring right at it. Wind also makes things extra spooky, perfect for the vibe of this GTA 5 secret. If you complete the alien supply, missions, head to the bar at 3 a.m. during a thunderstorm, and then drink until you pass out. When you finally wake up, you'll now have an alien tattoo, and I honestly don't even know how people find these things. Personally, though, I love when Rockstar pays tribute to where they started. They didn't become the biggest game developer in the world overnight, so in GTA 3, you can head to the internet cafe and zoom into these computers. Here, you'll find the first two Grand Theft Auto games on the screens, which is such a sweet homage. Sadly, you can't find these cafes in San Andreas, but you will discover fast food places, and here, you can stuff your face all you want. Not only do you gain a bunch of weight, but the game lets you overeat to the point where CJ pukes it up. And honestly, I seriously appreciate the physics of GTA 4. Everyone always talks about the ragdoll, but no one brings up the simple things like closing a car door just by shooting it, or disarming someone by shooting their hand. Without a gun, these guys will literally just run away. Meanwhile, over in GTA 5, the cops are relentless. Even after being shot at, some of them will be injured as their friends drag them out of the line of fire. This is one of those details that most of us have seen, but it's always mind-blowing. And if you open the Rockstar Editor, you'll find even more impressive features. There's a filter in here called Sentinel, and if you activate it, it makes your camera look green like the Matrix movies. And San Andreas also has great camera work. Even in a game this old, they went the extra mile by adding a heat wave effect to the desert. So you can head up to Bone County and truly feel the humidity of Nevada. Taking it from sand to sea, GTA 5's ocean is full of secrets. If you go under the surface in a submarine or scuba gear, you'll find a crashed UFO on the seabed. But there's something even cooler that truly makes the ocean feel detailed. If if you head deep enough, you'll find the bones of a whale, with some players thinking this is an undiscovered sea monster. But some details are straight up useful, like the hidden setting in GTA 5's phone. If you're tired of Simeon calling you to repossess a car for like $2, just turn your phone on vibrate. Now it just vibrates your controller instead of blasting your ears constantly with... And those were 50 insane details in the Grand Theft Auto games. It's been Sammy. Keep it here on T5G.